Tonight, the rose finds its thorns. What is up everyone, Grey Hansford here to bring you Bloodborne. Now, I finally chose after looking at uh, the game poll, the straw poll for the game. Uh, welcome to the new schedule as well. These will now be on Wednesday, as shown on the day that you are probably watching this video. Now, I spent my time, uh, and we have Ruby. I was thinking between Ruby and Blake, but I figured Ruby might fit. Uh, so that's why I made the intro like it was. So there's that. So I got her looking fabulous. She's got her silver eyes and her reddish dark hair. Uh, so and we will finalize this contract. So uh, to point out, I have beaten Bloodborne, I think more than twice, maybe twice, I don't know. Anyways, I do remember a bit of it, I know where to go, I know what to do, I know possible shortcuts and all that, um, not everything will come to me at once, but, yeah, but it has been a while since I played this game, so there might be a few things that I forgot. Good. All signed and sealed. And then there's this guy. Begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Yeah. And he's gone. Then there's that thing. And then these guys come out. Ah, oh, you found yourself a hunter. Mm-hmm. Yours, I used to be able to say that name. Yoskas? Something like Russian. Okay. Okay, now I'm just remembering. Because it's a lot different than Dark Souls. I'm kind of used to Dark Souls 3 uh, kind of motions. So there's that. These little pop-up things with the little dudes are basically notes or messages, if you know Dark Souls. There's a lichen. Technically, you can kill him. I have tried. Let's see if we can't try now. Oh, shit. I don't know if I can completely kill him, but let's just see if I can. And if it takes too long, future me will d speed it up. Oh yeah. 
And we get our first blood vial. Here, few blood vials. Sweet. Uh, do I remember how to run? No, that's that button. <sighs> okay. Well, that took a little bit. Silver bullets. Don't have anything. Just, yep, I'm getting used to different controls. Don't worry about my hands. Those. Come and go as they please. Meaning that they will look very weird from time to time, such as when I open that gate. Now granted, I could fight this guy. I could. I really could. But I'll sounds meaning I'm going the right way and here is a lamp okay time to go to the hunter's dream and get my weapon Ugh. also another thing that I will be doing is that if loading screens do take too long I will cut a portion of them out in between only if they do take too long but on, only that so now we are in the dream and here is the hunter's workshop beautiful moon don't you say or don't you think I don't know Okay. I can get the saw cleaver, the axe, or the threaded cane. I would go with the saw cleaver, or the axe, or the threaded. I don't know. I'm not much of a threaded cane guy. I've always chose the saw cleaver. But I know a way to kill the f first boss. With the axe? Well, not the first, but... Well, it's one of the bosses. With the axe, there's... Cheat. I don't know. I don't know if it still works. But still. The axe does a little bit more damage. I'll take the axe. Oop. Keep forgetting that button. Uh, Hunter Blunderbuss is... the said powerful. Notebook. So that way I can write down notes. I'll take that. And that. Have anything else? Quick items. Oh yeah, wait. Um. And this is German. He's the dude that will help us out. So I'm gonna make this episode a little bit longer than normal since um had to go through that whole intro so this one's going to be a little bit longer the other one should be roughly around 10 minutes or so so there's that and uh, we will be on our way through Yarnum with good old Ruby Rose alright No, we got our weapons. We got our pebbles. We can start hacking and slashing everyone down. Bring your blood vials. Need them blood vials. I remember that.
There. Perfectly executed. Alright. Don't really need to open up this thing, but I'm gonna open up just in case. Just in case there is something I need to do. Don't want to go towards that big motherfucker. I don't need to. Alright. So, is there a guy up here? Didn't know he moved. And Molotovs. And burning of beasts. How lovely. And I remember this gunman here. Give me some bullets. And then there is a creep right around this corner if I remember correctly. And I do. Now I know it might not be as entertaining if I know everything that's coming along and kind of do. But Bloodborne is still like a Dark Souls like game. So, and even though I've beaten Dark Souls. No, no, no. Doesn't mean I'm great at it like the guys that can go like one whole thing without dying once. The undying challenge. I couldn't even do this on that on this game or that game, so I highly doubt. But we'll see where we go. I kinda wanna get to the next lamp. Almost said bonfire, but So used to Dark Souls. I haven't played Bloodborne in a long time. There's some stuff over here if I remember correctly and there no, 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 no. Oh shit, I forgot the buttons. I forgot the button. I think it's triangle for Yep. Yep. There we go. Ugh. Oh, that's gonna save my ass a lot. Ugh. God damn. You think you're safe. Okay, there's that. That's on the other side of the gate. You're here. And you're gonna die. And everyone else. I guess you could think of this as... Oh, shit. I forgot there's a gunman. No. So much blood. Oh, you bastard, you're gonna pay for that. Nope, dog. I hate dogs in both uh, Bloodborne and Dark Souls. Dogs are a bitch to deal with. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to have to call an episode right here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of this good series that I'm really hoping will go great. And as usual, press that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, leave a comment down below, and as always, the Black Fang will bring justice back to Remnant. <laughs>